Hi chums, we're back on the briquette makers again. A couple of years ago I made one using a car jack, a two, a two ton jack to get compression. Then I decided to work on a compound lever version. It was basically very simple, it's just like a pair of nutcrackers. And the pr principle is that the fulcrum's here, the work goes in here, and the greater distance you can get between here and here will multiply that up. So a big long handle is going to give you a lot of downward pressure. The problem was that as I built it, it got more and more and more expensive. And the whole idea here is to avoid that. So I was over at a friend's house a couple of weeks ago, and I noticed pallets sitting, and I spotted these, and I thought, pistons. So this is where we went from there. Right, so what we have here is just the pist the, 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 the blocks, the cubes that were supporting the weight in the pallet. I took those off. It takes three and a half hours to dismantle a pallet without breaking any of the parts. And then I used the rest of it to build the frame because everything matches up. So it worked out okay. Now, I've got witness marks on everything here and here because it's sort of just built as I went along. So there's nothing sort of, no technical sort of, oh, what's the word? There's no critical dimensions here, but it means that when you put witness marks on, things go back in the way they were built. So I'll do a quick demo here and hopefully this will work because the last one was a disaster. I am the com compression. I'm just spending a bit more time in this because the last ones didn't form properly. I didn't have enough paper in them. Okay, we'll see how this goes. So, there you go newspaper and wood clippings and I've got nine of those now I did a couple earlier on I'll just get one of those for you and they turned out a bit bigger I'm just trying to make sure I get them into shot here so I'm happy enough with those now the issue is going to be drying but that solves an issue here I'll put those in the greenhouse and see how they go right, I'll tell you a bit more about this the base is just to support the blocks when they come out, but it left spaces everywhere to allow water out. The pistons are just the blocks that were on the, what do you call it, that were on the pallet, and then I just made a frame to support the pistons. Now, I said earlier that I'll use a two ton jack to get pressure on that. I weigh, well I weigh 206 pounds. Hold on, I'm gonna go and get a tape and work this out. Right, I weigh 206 pounds, so. Just the area I was standing on, we'll take it as this part here. That's 13 by, 13 by 14, so that's 182 square inches. 182 goes into 206, 1.4, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.
1.1, just over 1.1 times, so it's not a lot of pressure. If we take the, say it's going underneath here. If we take those there, the surface area of those, well those are, those are four by four, so that's 16. And there's nine of those, so nine sixteen is 144. Then 144 goes into 206, 1.5, 1.4 just over 1.4 times, so it's still not a big increase in pressure. Assuming the 1.4, that might become two pounds per square inch with me sort of dancing on top of it. But still, it, it produces a reasonably good block, and if you've got somewhere they'll dry, it should do the job all right. Um, I'm quite happy with that, actually, because it produces blocks an awful lot faster than doing three at a time in that other machine that I made. So, that's where we are at the moment. I'm going to try to see if I can get some sort of way to put more pressure on it. But I've discovered from the experiments on 